The Commonwealth Film and Theatre Festival, a project initiated by the University of Glasgow and funded by Celebrate Scotland, took part between the 17th and the 27th of July in the West End of the city. As part of the festival's activities and events, one of our media partners, Nisimaze, the European Network for Young Cinema, held a free film and theatre journalism workshop which involves young aspiring writers interested in film and art. Nisimaza was established in France in 2001 and in no time developed into the biggest cinema network, counting today 31 partners, mainly film festivals and cinema organizations all around Europe. Nisimaza's aim from the beginning was to give stage to the new filmmakers and film talents from all the European countries and to promote their work and independent cinema in general. As part of this errand, the editorial team holds numerous journalism workshops during the biggest European film festivals, giving the opportunity to new writers, bloggers and photographers to enter the competitive film industry and gather important experience in order to become the future film critics and festival and photo reporters. And indeed from final doom, there must be this act of faith in the European family. Nisimaza's platform hosts all the news around the organization's activity, open calls for workshops and all the publications that the editorial team publishes during the festival workshops in Cannes, Venice, Carlo Vivari and many more every year. The first step for setting the workshop was calling for participants and promoting it on the website, on social media and on various event listing platforms in order to spread the word and find the perfect team. Also, the support from local film festivals and industry professionals was really helpful for promoting the festival's activity and reaching a broader audience. Two days before the opening of the festival and the actual start of the workshop, four participants from Sweden, France and England, all living in Glasgow and united to demonstrate their writing skills and learn from the Nisimaza editor who travelled from Paris to attend the festival and hold daily editorial meetings with the participants. During the meetings, the whole team was going through the reviews, articles and interviews that the participants had written in advance. The feedback given from the editor was essential for them to improve their writing skills and correct their pieces according to the deadlines for the e-bulletins. They were published every second day of the festival, five in total, and distributed through Nisimaza's online platform as newsletters, published both on the festival and on Nisimaza's social media. The five e-bulletins included film and theatre criticism and in-focus articles, all selected and curated by the editor of the magazine in order to match perfectly the style of Nisimaza's publications. 
Reaching more than 5,000 readers in just a few days, the writer's contribution was recognized and rewarded, giving them motivation for future development.